In this video, we're going to discuss how to use your fuel line pressure testing manifold. Begin by tripping the shear valve. After you've tripped the shear valve, take your filter off. Once you've removed the filter, save the filter gasket. You can put the filter gasket on your line testing rig. Make sure that it is seated fully, that there are no gaps or bubbles. Once you have the gasket on, simply spin the testing rig onto the filter manifold. Remember, be careful when threading this on. The filter bypass cap is cast iron, so it's a lot harder metal than the filter manifold. After the testing rig has been tightened, reset the shear valve. Immediately, you're going to show pressure. With nobody pumping, you should see a static pressure of around 20 PSI. With the handle lifted anywhere on the site, you should see about 28 PSI. Remember, we operate our stores at anywhere between 28 and 42 PSI. After you've finished with the pressure testing rig, trip the shear valve. Open your ball valve and you can see the pressure drop and drain out of the testing rig. After you've drained the rig, just unscrew it from the filter manifold and drain any remaining fuel from it. Install a fresh filter. Remember, go ahead and date your filter. If you have any questions, reach out to training for more information.